Most people in life are looking for how to make a life worth living in retirement timing. When an individual is developing a portfolio for their current job, or for a next job, or for a side income job, they have to know how to do it to develop their professional or their personal brand. A professional brand is something that is typically promoted online through the publicity channels that every human being who is an adult today is expected to have. You see, if you don't have a LinkedIn account, if you don't have a Facebook account, if you don't have a Twitter account, if you don't have a Vimeo or YouTube account, then you might be considered not current in every way. Most people must have a LinkedIn account for their professional resume. Not every company needs to have a Facebook account is truthful because certain levels of buyers of consumer services don't play there, don't stay there. They let their secretaries do it for them. In life, we do have content managers. It is a term that came out maybe 10 years ago that allowed people who had good skill sets in writing content, developing content, taking photographs, producing videos, scripting videos, editing videos, producing videos in a quick amount of time could do for corporations and small business owners. I was once approached by a realtor who wanted me to do that for her company, but I would not do that for two reasons. One, I am only loyal to one realtor. She is the best woman I know for selling a home. So I wasn't about to do that for another realtor. Two, I didn't feel that the woman's attack on getting into the real estate market at that time was a wise way to gain income. Now, not my right to say, absolutely. But what I saw was a very difficult challenge that I didn't want to take on. And what I saw was a woman who didn't really want to pay for the time it takes to do that thing. Now, in life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about America. And any time you walk into a store and say, I'd like to apply to work here, they always say, great, go online, get on our application, fill it out, let our people know, and a divisional manager will be likely to contact you. Because smart companies do not hire at the local level. The reason for that is that it becomes too personal when that conversation begins. A corporate office can establish what is our target demographic for retained employees. What are the types of employees that we retain a long time? If we're having constant attrition and constant, in other words, turnover of our employee set, we have to look at the reason for that. Most likely it is a scheduling problem. Most likely it is an hourly wage problem. Most likely it is a training problem. And most likely it is a manager loyalty problem. You see, most people we know leave a corporation or leave a company because of the interactions with other employees. If they don't go well, after a time the person will wear despite the fact they might really love their job there. In other words, they love performing the duties, but they can't stand dealing with the people that they're required to interact with. Now, a mature person knows that they learn and grow when they're faced with people who don't talk like them, that don't act like them, that don't think like them. Communication styles are essential for a team, and diversity in that are, of course, a way that a company grows. But in life, we have most of the time to speak the truth. And people prefer to work with people who uplift them, who raise them on eagle's wings, as it says in the Bible or the Quran, and openly do that without feeling obligated to do that. In other words, they have the heart, mind, and soul of seeing a person's skill sets, gifts, and talents, and trying to help them thrive for those things. Yes, a little bit of healthy competition is good in a company, but it's never wise to put employee against employee. And it's totally a ridiculous challenge to pit an employee against a consumer today. You see, consumer rights still apply. And people still have rights to the privacy of what they buy. But if you haven't understood that, if your employees have not been taught that, and today I saw one of the most ridiculous hiring pages I've ever seen in my fucking life, that I thought, this is ridiculous. No wonder you're having trouble hiring people. And it was provided by a na national corporation. Maybe it's what the local manager posted. 
Maybe it was the local division manager, but I hope to God it wasn't from the national company. You see, those words might have been effective more than 10 or 15 years ago, possibly even 30 years ago, when I was a young person. They resonated with me because I remember having them in a position when I was 15. But the world has ever changed. Technology has changed us, and the way that people approach different types of their real life is different today. A lazy employee that is trained by a lazy company usually produces lazy results. In other words, they stay in business, but they're not thriving in business. 